they just ran over my shadow, just like the moon and the sun. Time for week nine training for the Dopey Challenge. You know, for a lot of us, this is not just about putting in the miles and crossing that finish line. It really is about getting the Disney bling. Those medals are awesome. You get one each for doing the 5K, 10K, half marathon, and full marathon. And then the challenge medals, they come for doing the half marathon, full marathon combination, which is Goofy's Race and a Half Challenge, and then all four races, which is the Dopey Challenge. Now, this should be a relatively easy week for those of us training for the challenges or for the full marathon. If you're getting ready for Disneyland or the Double Dare, you're in week 17, you're almost there, which means by the time you see this, you're gonna be heading out to Anaheim or actually going to the Expo to pick up your bib. If you're doing the Wine and Dine Half Marathon Weekend or Superheroes, you're both in about week eight. I think I'm gonna use this easy week to buffer for some busy weeks ahead. I may even try to catch up on one of those virtual running shorts. Five, four, three, two, one. Workout started. You'd think at this point in the summer that the temperatures would start coming down a little bit, the humidity would drop, but man, it is one of the most humid mornings I think I felt this entire summer. Well, I'm struggling, even after a good night's sleep. Inner monologue, you can do anything for 45 minutes. You can do anything for 45 minutes. <sighs> Having a little fun making my own little solar eclipse right now. There it is, about to be covered up by the moon. If you go back to my first video journal for the training plan, I actually talk about how I break into three phases. Phase one was getting us used to the daily grind, doing those every other day maintenance runs and putting in some distance, getting us past and up to the 10 mile mark. I've accomplished quite a bit in two months since that's the point we're gonna hit a little later this week. 27 maintenance and training runs, if you include the one I'm doing right now, 110 miles. That's about a third of the time and a quarter of the distance. So the stars have aligned to get me through this phase of the training plan. Now it's time to finish up this run and watch the stars align. 50 minutes, 4.05. Time to get ready for the eclipse. This is a special delivery from Amazon, which I ordered about five weeks, maybe four weeks ago, and it just arrived the other day, just in time. I'd actually paid a little bit more for shipping. Let me tear in and show you what I got. I'm a bit disappointed in Amazon how they shipped my eclipse kit to me. As you can see, they put it in this flat envelope and inside the box with my kit, it's kind of squished down to about half its size. And that's important because these aren't those cheap paper glasses that a lot of people ordered and that sold out really quickly. These are actually hard frame plastic glasses. And come on, Amazon, you're dealing with people's eyesight as we look up at that eclipse. I mean, I already have burned out retinas from my retinal disease. I didn't need to make it even worse. So if you take a look at these glasses, they're pretty dark. You can't see anything through there. 
and that's how they actually protect you from the extreme ultraviolet radiation when you're looking up at the eclipse. Also in the box here, a filter for my camera because I was really worried about burning out or tearing up the sensor with the sun, the ultraviolet radiation, and this filter should protect it. They do say you should only use it for about three minutes at a time, so I'm not quite sure what that's all about, but I didn't want to spend $100 on a really expensive filter, $100 for a one-time event, but this should do the trick to get some time-lapse video. Also inside, a commemorative guide that tells you all about the American Eclipse and a manual. So let me go set everything up and we'll get started. I can't see a darn thing with the camera. These glasses are so dark. I keep stepping inside to watch the news, and so far they're seeing this eclipse in Oregon. They're seeing it in Nebraska. Nothing here yet. This is so cool. If you imagine the sun like a circle, and then there's like a sliver of banana in the upper right quadrant, that's what's left right now. I can only see the sliver in my peripheral vision. I can't see you. I'm going to grab you real quick. Let's try something. Hopefully I don't fry the sensor. But, okay, you got it? You with me? We're going to go over here. I put a mirror on top of a trash can, and we're going to see what this looks like. Hold on. Okay. There's the eclipse, and there it is for you to see video-wise. Now, if you notice, if I bring this up, you can't see anything. It looks like just a normal sunny day until you show the sun like that. There's almost no sun left, but there's just enough to put this much light around us. So that's it. That's all she wrote for the total eclipse, and I'll be a really old man for the next one. Now it's time to get ready for my next run. You know what they say about the best made plans, or is it the best laid plans? Sometimes with all of your hard work and preparation, things just don't go your way. And that's exactly what happened with that partial eclipse video. And I think two things were in play. First, that cheap, or I guess I should say inexpensive, eclipse kit that I bought off of Amazon. The little filter inside really wasn't the best. And secondly, I wasn't using a telephoto lens. I was using my wide angle GoPro. You have to narrow the field of view when you're looking up at the sun. So I was seeing this little teeny dot in the middle of the screen. Unfortunately, I was able to grab a couple of pictures using those eclipse glasses and my smartphone. Now the same thing may be at play when I go to get a new POT, proof of time for the Walt Disney World Marathon weekend, and a new personal best during the chocolate run, which is in about a week and a half for me. It's a 10 miler. And I was really hoping to shave a few seconds off of my personal best, which was a 1019. I got that back during February's Daytona Beach Half Marathon. I believe the temperature at the time was 55, 60 degrees. I just don't think it's going to happen because the temperature right now is so hot. It's 75 to 80 degrees. It's so humid. This is what I've been training in. And the best I can do is around a 1030, 1045, and that's only for four or five miles. So I think I'm going to have to attack this a different way. I'm just going to go have fun with the chocolate run. I'm going to melt like the chocolate out there, and I'm going to collect a new medal. Now, I can still work on my pacing. I'm going to leave the camera behind for run number 26, and I'll see you for run number 27. All I can say is, oy vey, I got a really late start, 845. It's 84 degrees and the humidity is at 90%, but I crushed it. I did 4.27 miles at a 1030 pace. And in fact, during the first three miles, I maintained a 1015 pace. I still don't think I can keep this up for a 10 miler.
get ready for the next phase. More miles, more days. If you take a look at what I like to call the second phase of the training plan, weeks 10 through 18, I actually find it to be a little bit easier because the temperatures are starting to cool off, so we're not dealing with the summer, and we still haven't hit the hectic holidays. Now, we are building from about 11 through 20 miles, and we're adding a fourth day of training with a bit of walking. I also have to find some time to rest. The one thing these plans, the Higdon plan, the Galloway plan don't do is actually fit in some downtime. And that's so important, especially as we head into this fall season, because so many of us are doing some races for fun or POTs, half marathons, even full marathons. Some of you are training for the Marine Corps. And I know I have to find a way to find a couple of days from time to time to give my aching muscles, my leg muscles, a little bit of a break. Where there's a will, there's a way. You may notice Coach Spanky is wearing his series medal for the Run Disney virtual running shorts. Somehow he fit them all in. He did his last point 5K yesterday. I'm gonna do my final 5K after I upload this video. That'll be five training runs for the week, 30 for the summer season, the nine weeks, 124 miles. I'm feeling really good. Remember, you can keep me motivated. Hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. Hey, I wanna know how your summer went. Also, tell me if you're doing any fall races, because next time, I'm gonna talk about POT and Run Disney corral placement. There's a good boy.